Madam de la Excellencies, dear colleagues, journalists, uh, I'd like to start with thanks to Diplomat Magazine, its charming publisher, for organizing this video conference and providing a unique platform for joining these distinguished speakers, coming together and sharing our diverse yet similar in essence experience in the pandemic and fight against its spread and overcoming consequences. I believe that this initiative embodies uh, the unity itself in the face of this unprecedented challenge. In its fight against pandemic, supported by its international partners, Armenia implemented a set of aggressive policies aimed at containing the epidemic, the state of emergency had been declared, the strategies of early detection, isolation, laboratory confirmation, contact tracing and quarantine, along with physical distancing, have been shown to be critical elements to stop or show the disease transmission. The strategic initiative has relied on controlling the spread, rapidly testing suspected individuals, implementing quarantine mechanism and community containment. This allowed for our healthcare system in general to prepare uh, for more infected, increase uh, ICU capacity, etc. Here in the embassy, we were very busy with assisting our citizens to return. Uh, procure some medicines like hydrochloroquine and transporting them to Armenia and some kind of uh, medical equipment. And uh, since the first days of uh, smart lockdown or hard lockdown in Armenia, uh, Schiphol became a hub for Armenian citizens from all over the world, like uh, from Australia to Indonesia, Japan, United States, to reach uh, their homeland. So we were arranging all this on the spot, negotiating with airlines and airports. Taking this opportunity, I would like to thank China and the United States for their valuable assistance to Armenia in fighting the pandemic. As of today, uh, 5,271 uh, uh, cases of coronavirus have been confirmed in Armenia, with uh, almost half of them recovered and uh, 67 deaths. Um, in total, we had done kind of 45,000 tests uh, and approximately around 11% per were positive. Mobile phone tracking is also implemented to support the contact tracing. Till mid-May, every single positive COVID-19 uh, patient is being hospitalized. Those without symptoms placed in locations under permanent uh, medical supervision. Since the beginning of state of emergency, uh, and lockdown, the government has adopted around 17 programs aimed at the financial assistance to the families, as like in any other countries, uh, Ambassador Hoekstra talked extensively on that. So uh, it, on those 17 programs, we have, uh, the government has already spent about 157 million euros uh, that were distributed as assistance to particular families and uh, businesses. Uh, recently, Armenian government decided to gradually ease hard lockdown and take the first steps to adapt the country in full operational mode in, in the current situation and new rules uh, being implemented on commerce, transportation, industry, social behavior and many other things. Understandably and logically, the international experience is very thoroughly observed and is studied by relevant authorities. And uh, we are also basically on daily uh, basis or twice, three times in a week reporting on the Dutch uh, rules, uh, how the situation develops here with face masks, uh, regulations, uh, with sanitizers and other, other stuff like transportation. Uh, but uh, in terms of tackling the health threat, but also finding solutions for overcoming the other effects of the crisis, including the economic ones, as the challenge itself is of global nature, and all of us are facing more or less the same problem. So international uh, uh, cooperation is really of uh, high importance. And two days ago, we had an opportunity to discuss this with Dutch Minister of Foreign Trade and Development Cooperation. And this was the unison message uh, that uh, came out of this discussion. And one more uh, topic I want to raise here that um, when we are talking about importance of solidarity uh, to find this global threat, I want to draw the attention on the priority of actions as a responsible member of international community. Uh, 
Regrettably, in some cases, like those in our immediate neighborhood, Armenia's immediate neighborhood, there is an example of using the pandemic to continue crack down on opposition and silencing critical voices. It is a matter of serious concern to us that despite COVID-19 pandemic and global ceasefire caused by UN Secretary General and Pope Francis, an engrossed violation of international commitments, a neighboring country, Azerbaijan, is continuing periodical breaches of ceasefire regime and started large-scale military exercises involving 10,000 soldiers, personnel, on the immediate neighborhood on the line of contact with Nagorno-Karabakh. But to conclude on a positive note, I want to thank again for creating this unique opportunity to share the experience and concerns and value the strong international solidarity in terms of this un unprecedented crisis. Uh, thank you. My in introductory remark would be uh, over. Thank you very much, Ambassador Barayan. It's very much appreciated your intervention. Uh, let's welcome the Ambassador 